Yo, just have a respectful conversation so y'all can, you know, clear that shit up. It's on you. So my thing is, my nigga is like, you feel me? It's a lot of chatter, and I just want to get it from, like, what's, what's really going on, bro? You know, it was a lot said. Right. Niggas was like, no, 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 no. We're not going to do that. I got phone calls, text messages I'm seeing on the internet. I'm false flagging. I want to know what's going on. Nigga. Nigga saying that you ain't from the hood. You ain't been to the you hood. Saying I'm not, who saying I'm not from the hood? You you saying I'm not from the hood? I said what I said. I'm asking you a question. Nigga, I just said I said what I said. You ain't seen me get put on the black mat? Nigga. Three seconds, my nigga is not All right, a put on. Bro. All right, champ. Three niggas. Three niggas. Put two of them down. Come on, that bro. That official. Because I know a lot bro. of little homies that ain't get their official, nigga. We're not talking about homies. I'm talking nigga, about. I'm talking you. about that. Let's start right there, though. Let's first, start right there. I said, did look, I get my official? Look, first, first and foremost, bro. Let's let, let start right there, talking. bro. Let's start right change, there. Did I get listen, my official? Change the tone of your voice, bro. Fuck all that. Look, check this out, bro. Yeah, all right. You ever you ever touched a million dollars? What's we talking about a million dollars? We're I'm talking about you a question. You ever touched a million dollars before? What is we talking about? A million dollars? You ever touched a million dollars before? I'm asking you a question. Yes or no? You can simply decline the answer. Yes or no? Have you ever touched a million dollars before? If you from Park Village? I'm asking you, do you know what that feels like Village? to touch a million if dollars, from, nigga? Do you know what that feels like? Is you from Park you Village? You're talking about another nigga for free. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. You're laughing. You laughing, it's, but it's, I'm asking it's you a the question. Real, the real ones that help you get that million dollars, my nigga, never forget that. I'm asking you a question because Bird is still eating with me. You might not see him. I ain't Bird, nigga. Still eating with me. I ain't Bird, nigga. Mm -hmm. oh, wait, 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 hold on. Wait, y'all, so hold on, on, hold on. Hey, hold on. Hey, this whack. What this about Polo? Let's clear that up. So what Bird about still with you? Hold on, y'all. So Bird don't even know Polo like that, nigga. What about Hey, hey, do these are these niggas having active lawyers on their cases? Bro, I don't know. None of us in the hood every Christmas. Come on, bro. Putting turkeys in the hood every Christmas. I mean, every come, on, come on, come on. You modeling right now. Stop it. You don't bro, know you what it feel bro. like to be in this situation. So until you know what it feel like, you can't talk on none of this shit, bro. You playing internet games on some shit. I don't even know how to use this clubhouse shit. I had to call Wack four five times. He calling me. You 30, 40 years old using this app, nigga. I'm twenty three. I don't even know how to use this shit, nigga. Cause First I'm over here right? trying to make the Forbes again this year, man. First and so foremost, you, about? you a nigga from the hood tearing another nigga now that's trying to help other niggas in the hood that you you don't know nothing about this business. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand, my nigga. First and foremost, my nigga, you can't speak yeah. on nothing you don't know shit about, bro. Hey, Roddy, let him answer foremost, you. Let you let him answer you. First and foremost, my nigga, Bird ain't got nothing to do with me. Cholo, that's the little homie, but he's not even equivalent in this conversation, my nigga. We talking about how... Man, what about Lil' Bowack? He got a lawyer? What, what, what? I'm not Lil' Bowack, bro. I'm saying, what talking about, about Lil' Bowack? Right you talking about... You saying I'm not... I done got on so far. I ain't, I'm false flagging. Nigga, I got put on my hood and I was over there. Every video until Antisocial was in the hood. The label, Julie Greenwald, called us and told us we doing too much in Compton, nigga. We gotta go and do videos everywhere else, nigga. That's what happened, nigga. Cap, bro. That's cap. Niggas know what the deal is, bro. I I Julie Greenwald, nigga. nigga. Uh, that go like that. Millionaires that go like that. And millionaires <laughs> that you don't know about. This is what I'm trying on, to get bro. you to understand. We ain't talking about no internet shit. We ain't talking about no motherfucking industry shit. We were talking about real street shit, my man, nigga. Nigga, I'm, man, listen. I done made twenty million dollars in a year. You think I'm about to be posted up with you, nigga? Ain't nobody said you had to be posted up so with me, what nigga. What the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> Niggas know That's what real. I'm talking about, homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, wait, 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 wait. Hey, Roddy, they he said that you shut down on Bird. So Bird's still with you? Bird is still with me to this day. I just got off the phone with him, champ. Okay, so Bird's still with you. Yeah, yo, wait, let's just clear it up. He Roddy got said he got put on. Wait, 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 wait. Himself, camp. Wait, wait. He's a Roddy CEO said he got put on. Entertainment. That's his entity, bro. When we came in the game, it was a certain way we was moving. Bird seen how I moved. I seen how Bird moved. It was all respect in that okay, situation. Okay, hold on. Yeah, no seat that you don't hey, know listen, shit let's about. clear this shit up. Yo, let's just clear it up. Just because we don't talk about it, nigga, that don't mean the business ain't getting handled, bro. It don't mean that niggas ain't closing deals and, and doing what we got to do, nigga. You don't see niggas out here starving and niggas ain't 
pulling up how they pulling up, fool, is still the same shit. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. Let's check it out now. I love Clubhouse, man. Okay, these days, it's actually a constant fight on the app between the mantra and the mentality that says, real G's move in silence like lasagna. You heard that one before? And also, the theory that says, listen, hey, don't let nobody else snitch on you. Snitch on yourself. Yep, self-snitching versus real G's move in silence. Okay, this is the thing that Clubhouse has exposed. Pretty much the only person, I've been saying this for years, Nobody could snitch on somebody better than themselves, okay? Now, these days, what happens on Clubhouse is basically a bunch of gangster niggas. They get on there basically talking gangster and street stuff. They're not on their building. I like when people are like, yo, hey, we're going to go on this app to build. Yeah, I'd right, build a case, okay? Essentially, a bunch of former gangbangers, I won't even say former, current gangbangers, go on there to talk about how they got in the gang, and to basically write up an affidavit for a possible RICO charge. Now, I was surprised that I saw this individual on there. But, of course, you know, he is a famous gang member. I'm talking about Roddy Rich. Now, when his character and his flag was questioned, people thought he was false flagging or false claiming, he hopped up on the app called Clubhouse to defend himself against one of the older guys in the gang, but it was from his neighborhood. Now, again, I in a million years, I'm telling you, I just never thought I would hear a conversation like this. I thought the only time we'd ever hear a conversation like this is if we had a warrant for a fucking wiretap from the police who would release this in court. However, you don't need a warrant when you have Clubhouse. Clubhouse is a place where the cops could just go around getting a warrant, okay? Basically, everybody's just on there talking it up. Anyway. Roddy Rich pretty much checks the guy who basically was trying to accuse him of, like, you know, false flagging. I'm going to be honest, man. Roddy Rich, listen, uh, you shouldn't even get on the app to begin with, okay? Because the minute you start talking about trying to better your community and not giving handouts and also not talking the ignorant shit that pretty much Clubhouse is built up on these days, you're already lost, okay? Again, that app and the conversations on there, it's about who's holding who down. It's nothing constructive actually going on on the app. And I don't know why Roddy Rich would engage. Let me take that back. Because honestly, Roddy Rich is somebody who, even though he don't rap too much about gang stuff, like, I mean, it's part of his credibility and part of his reputation. And, you know, he wants to defend that. All I'm trying to say is that for the rappers who come from a particular background, please understand that the people who come from where you're from, a lot of them, they won't support you unless you're helping them, okay? They don't see the bigger picture. It's all about what could you do for me now, not what you've done for the community. And if you're not helping a motherfucker, he's going to be defaming you, talking about your whole history, and he's also going to try to throw some dirt on your name. This is why this whole hood mentality, street stuff is ridiculous because, again, everybody's in for themselves. They don't care if you're trying to do something to better everybody's life. It's only if you better their life. And also, the integrity behind it is that if they don't give you money or they don't feed you, I always said, niggas is as loyal as your last meal. If you don't feed them last, expect no loyalty. Clearly, this guy was saying Roddy Rich has not been looking out or taking care. And because of that, he's down to basically put Roddy Rich's whole reputation in question and also bring to the uh, bring a microscope saying, hey, this guy's not real. Just think about this. You kicked it with Roddy Rich. You said nothing for years while you thought the money was coming in and you were in the system or you in the inner circle where you could benefit. The moment you can't benefit, now he's a fake. He's a fraud. He ain't never really been by that life. He's not really from where he's from. Come on, man. This type of crab in a barrel mentality it's sad that I'm on Clubhouse listening to grown men who still don't even call it out. They're still trying to, they're politicking. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, we got to do better. Roddy Rich, listen, it was sad that you were the youngest person on that call, yet you were the one asking the questions that probably do matter the most. Okay, now, as far as his real street credibility, like, whoa, whoa, is he really, listen, that doesn't really matter necessarily with me. But maybe one of them real screen dudes who just needs to know if somebody was banging before you enjoy the music. You guys let me know, though. Get in the comments, you guys like them, subscribe. Listen, these guys are basically just putting a wire on themselves and getting online in front of an audience.
It's crazy what an audience will, will let you do. Get a cop, my guys like and subscribe to Academics. What do you guys think of this whole conversation? <laughs> I thought it was retarded.